Hi, my name is Shelby, and I'm here today to teach you some tips and tricks on how to put your compression socks on at home, as they can be difficult at times. We have a couple different options. The first one is for an open toe sock. You're going to need this little silk booty, or if you don't have this, a like plastic thin trash bag will do as well. And then also a pair of gloves, either cleaning rubber gloves, a gardening glove, something with some texture to kind of help get a hold of it. So I'm going to show you how to use this little silk sock here. You're going to take it and put it over your foot like you would if you were putting on a sock. I'm then going to take my compression, roll it up a little bit like so, slip my foot into it, and pull it up as far as I would like it. And once I've got it on and I feel like it's where it needs to be, I then can take this compression sock out. This next option is for either open toe or closed toe sock. It's kind of a reverse effect. I'm going to put my hand through with the sock right side out, find my heel, I pinch the heel from the inside, and then I pull my sock inside out. And here's my heel. I then take this with my heel pointing to the ground, put my foot through the opening, get it where I would like it to be, grab the rest, and then pull it up so it's right side out. Next, I'm going to show you how to put your compression sock by using this Dop and Donner. You want to make sure you have your jelly donut, compression sock, and then the Dop and Donner. I'm going to take my compression sock. You want to make sure that the heel is facing away from you when you put it on. I'm going to slide it all the way down, bringing the excess material to the bottom. I am then going to take the jelly donut and we slide it onto the compression sock. I take this extra material at the bottom, grab onto it, stretch it over our jelly donut, and you pull it all the way up so all the material is stretched out. Then you're going to bring it down just a little bit, probably to about there, so you've got a little bit of room here at the top. And then I slide my jelly donut all the way up until it comes off. And here's where you have your heel and your foot will be inserted here. All right, so our next step is putting on the compression sock after we've got it rolled onto our jelly donut. Here I have my heel, which is going to be facing to the floor, and then I have my opening of where my foot is going to go. So I put my hand on this back side here, and I'm going to slip this over my foot like so, and it just gets rolled up the leg. Once I feel like I've got it rolled up as far as I would like it, I can take the donut off to the side and adjust your sock as so. The next thing I'm going to show you is an alternative option to compression socks. It is called Velcro compression. This is a great alternative for those who have a harder time putting on a compression sock at home. The nice thing about this is that it has these little tabs that you can pull the Velcro strap to the desired amount of compression that you would like. I am now going to show you how we put that on. So this is how we put on that compression Velcro. This is the backside where your cap will go and then this is about where your shin would be. They normally come with a liner sock that you will have put on. I'm going to take the compression Velcro, slip my foot into it, pull it up over my cap. I have my Velcro straps neatly rolled back. I am then going to unroll these and just lightly place them for now. There's no compression needed at this part. I'll just take each strap and place them. So when you're putting it on, you just loosely place it and then it allows you to be able to pull to your desired compression level.